It's now time for the VP Playback. Let's go. Okay, let's go to Johnson City, Tennessee, as we go to my high school, East Tennessee State University, the William B. Green Jr. Stadium. A beautiful evening for some high school football. As the Elizabeth Cyclones at 0-3 take on the undefeated Daniel Boone Trailblazers. There's the flag in honor of the 9-11. And let's let the chorus sing. National anthem performed by the Daniel Boone Chorus. But in the meantime, the Elizabeth and Cyclones come running out on the field with the American flags. Of course, they got the Betsy Cyclone flag. And they're looking to get their, believe it or not, their first victory of the season. And the, you see the fans cheering. Those cowbells are ringing. The cheerleaders are coming out. So this could be a very, very great game between two powerful teams. Anyway, the kick is off from Williams. He kicks it deep. And at the one-yard line, believe it or not, running going to the sideline that's number four that is Blankenship and he gets knocked out of bounds uh, close to the 30 yard line this time Jenkins at quarterback decides to go in the air believe it or not Boone's going in the air at the beginning of the game they find number two Utsman that's a two yard gain looks like this time up the middle Mr. Aiden Reiner busting his way I believe for the first down and he decided to give it to Aiden Reiner again if it worked for one time it could work second time anyway another first down Aiden Reiner and let's guess one more time, Aiden Ryder right up the middle and he gets about three or four yards on a first down. So I believe they're going to keep it in the hands of Aiden Ryder. And once again, busting up the middle, tearing Elizabeth and Cyclones up the middle and they keep it going. Aiden Ryder going up the middle again. It takes it around the 32 yard line. And I believe it was a fourth down, but they call it first. Cyclones thought they had him anyway. A little dizzy new play, but boom! Wasn't fooling the baller, Mason Ball, number 82. Gets him down in the backfield for a big time loss. Anyway, Jenkins rolling out right, decides to go ahead and keep it. And Mullins gets right under him and gets him down for a great tackle there this time. Jenkins rolling left, looking to go back in the air, and now he's rolling right, probably trying to chase him down. But he goes high in the sky and he finds, oh, overthrown ball for Usman. That probably could have been a touchdown. It's going to, believe it or not, force. Shrewsbury, the, one of the top kickers in the state that have to kick the ball. He punts it down, and it gets a nice bounce, and it's stopped by Boone at all. I believe the toes did they get on the white line. I can't really tell there, but looks like the ball may have crossed. But anyway, the ref says, no, it's first down on the back to you. <laughs> one inch line for the Cyclones. So this is going to be really tough for the Cyclones to have to dig out of it. But, you know, you give it to Katie. Mr. Hustle Russell, and he busts his way. Oh, just a little bit outside, but Boone thought it was a safety, but he was able to get it. But whoop, the ball gets loose, the ball's down on the ground. And who's got it? Is it a safety? Or did Boone recover it? Did Boone get it? Oh, and number 25, Cloy gets the touchdown for Daniel Boone. And Shrewsbury up for the extra point, and already 7-0, just like that. 6-18 left in the first quarter. Boone's already got the lead. Shrewsbury kicking it deep, but it's going to be returned. And they put it in the hands of Mr. Dryer Griffith. And he's a dangerous runner. He takes it across the 30-yard line. Pretty good field position. And we're just going to speed things up because this is one of those type of games to where some of the plays you really didn't have to see. But anyway, K. Mr. Russell Hustle with a pretty good run there. Anyway, the Cyclones. Give it to Nate, the great Stevens, and he tries to find a little room with a stiff arm. He goes down the sideline and busts his way to, I believe, a first down. No, they turn the ball over to Boone. Anyway, they kick it deep to Boone's territory, and we're going to speed things up again. Like I said, it's one of those games where he didn't really have much to see. It's a very defensive game. Anyway, ball gets back in the hands of the Cyclones. Help! And jumping flags in the air. And it was one of those type of days for the Cyclones. A lot of penalties that uh, gave us some trouble. But anyway, look at Kane Russell with the big time game. Taking it across the 40-yard line. And we're speeding things up because, like I said, it was one of those type of games. Really not much to see. But we're speeding things along as Dalton Mitchell running for his life. Decides to keep the ball. He crosses the 50-yard line. Slides. And he's safe for a first down anyway. Speeding things up because not much happening here. Not much happening. That ends the quarter. Boom. 7-0. We're now in the second quarter. Dalton Mitchell decides to go in the air, but it gets picked off. Picked off. Blankenship. Interception. Puts the ball back in the hands of Daniel Boone, and there he is, Aiden Ryder. They're giving him the ball. He gets all those hard workhorse yardage he crosses the 50-yard line, and we're speeding things up because it's one of those type of games. Anyway, Ryder crosses into Cyclone territory and uh, Cyclone defense. Let me tell you what. They were nasty, though. As you can see, they were speeding things up. They prevented 
uh, Boone really getting much past the 40. But anyway, Shrew Shrewsbury once again kicks high in the sky. This time they decide to call a fair catch. I think I don't let any funny bounce play around this time, but still it's deep in the Cyclone's territory, and there are those flags flying again. And it's pushing him back. I mean, deep. I mean, almost possibly another uh, chance at uh, – a safety, but anyway, Cycle's able to hold on to the ball this time. Anyway, they get the kickoff, they get out of the hole, and it gets a nice, friendly Cyclone bounce, and it takes it to around the 44-yard line. Daniel Boone with Ryan, and this time he's jumped and it stopped right at the line. They weren't fooling the Cycle this time. Like I said, the stingy was, or the defense was very stingy, speeding things up, but showing you how aggressive the Cycles were. But boom, look at that! Oh! So that was that. <laughs> Oh, man, but he's okay. He's okay. Anyway, Shrewsbury having a punt again. As you see, the punters are getting a lot of air time on the VP playback. Anyway, Nate Stevens there to catch the ball, fair catch, and then Nate Stevens going to find a little room, and he spins, and he gets about eight or nine yards on a nice carry there to get things started for the Cyclones. Anyway, they give it back to Nate Stevens, and he cuts back inside, and he gets another pretty good run there for the Cyclones. Looks like Moe's on the side, but you see him speeding things up because the game gets a little bit ugly again and not much to see, and it forces the Cyclones to have to punch a Williams with a nice kick high in the sky. Does he get a friendly Cyclone bounce? Uh, not much, so they decide to go ahead and stop it. He says, wait, 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 wait. we're going to let the time just run out. So the clock runs out, takes it to halftime, 7-0. to zero. Daniel Boone is up. It's time for the halftime show with the band. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for your halftime entertainment, the 2022 Blazer Band. Great job for the Daniel Boone Band to get some playing time in the Buck Stadium. Anyway, Cyclones with Nate Stevens, and he finds some room, and he crosses about the 24-yard line. Pretty good game there for the Cyclones, and this time the Cyclones. Momentum could be on their side here as uh, Dalton Mitchell rolled around. He finds to the sideline, and the ball is complete to Cade, Mr. Hustle Russell, and the ball is complete. So, third quarter. Looking to find some magic here to try to bring him back into the game, but they find Teddy Orton, and Teddy Orton gets uh, first down, taking it down the sideline, and I believe he crossed the first down marker, and the Cyclones do have Big Mo back on their side, but it's third down, and uh, Cyclones, once again, looking a little confused. They call a timeout to regroup, and after a timeout, believe it or not, they get a penalty because illegal, I believe, substitution after a timeout. So just uh, a lot of problems there. And even Boone was like, I, I don't even know how they, they had that to happen. But anyway, Cyclones, third down. This is crucial for the Cyclones to be able to make this conversion. They only got like one yard to go. So we actually missed that play, but obviously they didn't get it. Fortunately, the Cyclones have to punt again. But anyway, Williams with a nice kick and a nice friendly Cyclone bounce. And it looks like they're going to do to Boone what Boone did to the Cyclones. And it puts him about at the two-inch line of the Cyclone with the cowbells are ringing. And Big Mo is back on the side, even though they didn't uh, get a score on that. But they feel with deep in this territory, they maybe can get a safety or maybe a good stop. And on the first play, the Cyclones do get a good stop, but you know what? They get another good stop, so it puts it at third down, but this probably is the run of the game. And oh man, Blankenship is off to the races as he breaks out, gets some space, and takes it and crosses the 40-yard line. And believe it or not, Boone has a huge play when needed. I mean, Boone didn't do much of anything on offense, but I'm telling you, that probably was the run of the game. And they're like, oh man, time is ticking, and time surely is ticking. Anyway, Boone in the fourth quarter with the ball. Sack! Ducked in the backfield. And the Cyclone fans are going crazy because all they got to do is just hold Boone and they feel like they got a chance to get back into this game. Boom. With the ball. Nowhere to go, but down! Sucked! Big time second. Look like this ball right there. Like makes the ball here where the cowbells are ringing. And look how high the sky shakles is getting. Man, he is excited. Boom! He's getting high in the sky again. I wanted to freeze that to show you how excited, excited the cyclones are getting. Anyway, Shrewsbury was a nice kick, but this time, 
it goes into the end zone. It doesn't take one of those funny stops there. It goes into the end zone, so it's friendly for the Cyclones anyway. Nate Stevens, the man with the plan. Nate the Great finds plenty of room. There he goes down the sideline, takes it around the 46-yard line, and a great start for the Cyclones. You can see Big Mo's definitely on the side, and all the Cyclone fans get excited, but boom, calls a timeout. And that slows the momentum down. And now you see what happens. They regroup, and this time they stop Nate Stevens. Nowhere to go. But you got Gib Marpin in at quarterback, and he pitches to Cade Russell on third down, and boom, he gets knocked out of bounds into the ground. And man, I don't know if that maybe that timeout kind of threw the Cyclones momentum off. But anyway, it is fourth down, and it's a crucial fourth down because that clock is ticking. Anyway, Gib Marpin rolling out, finding a little bit of room. He decides to keep it, but nowhere to go, and he. Just gets a few yards and on fourth down turns the ball back over to Daniel Boone. Anyway, Boone in control. It's first down. Midfield. Great field position. All they got to do is just hold on to the ball. Anyway, Ryan of no room to go. They finally caught on to him. And he is down in the backfield by Mullins and a few of the Psycho fans. And there's the Cowbells. They're out rigging again because they feel all we got to do is just stop Boone. And they do. Jump hard in the backfield. Oh, my goodness. Landon Hughes with a huge play. Forces Shrewsbury to have to punt again. And this time, they seem to take control. And he catches it. And he's off to the races. He takes it close to the 30-yard line, which is pretty good field position for the Cyclones. So they got to go 70 yards for the victory. Anyway, Nate Stevens once again with a great run. Takes it. And he crosses midfield. And the Cyclones have a chance to possibly tie this game, even with it. They go through. But Boone calls timeout. And that, once again, slows the momentum down. And Teddy Orton with the ball. Nowhere to go. But you know what? You see that dirty laundry going on the field. And, uh... Gives the Cyclones great field position. Anyway, they tried a little trickery, but anyway, you know it was coming there, Dalton Mitchell. Quarterback himself looked like he was going to throw. But anyway, Nate Stevens finds a little room, cuts up the middle, and he takes it around to the 30-yard line, so they're definitely in scoring position. Anyway, give Moppin in the air. Finds Jariah Griffith down on the side. He takes it around the 20-yard line. And the Cyclones, with just a little bit of time left, look like they possibly could tie this game anyway. Boom, a one-handed tackle, another great play for Boone. Oh my goodness, Luke Scott with an incredible sack, one-handed tackle, but give them up and they got one last chance to go high this guy into the end zone and the play is, oh, blackout. Camera stops right at that moment, but anyway, the ball slipped as you saw it in slow motion. Just a little overthrown and the Daniel Boone Trailblazers win a big one. Let me see ya. Hey, with the real big snaps. Hey, with the real big snaps. All day, all day, let me see ya.